Welcome to the Iconics Corporation. A publicly traded company located in Duluth, Minnesota, Iconics has been offering imaging solutions to many industries for over 50 years. The company's products and services have filled major needs worldwide. Iconics currently has 72 employees, including six research chemists, who have developed the corporation's core technologies and products, which are used by companies in many industries. Exclusive licensing agreements with DuPont and the Icello Corporation, combined with Iconics Research and Development Ingenuity, have allowed Iconics to produce many unique, high-performance, and patented products. The ability to respond to the ever-changing demands of the imaging markets is an asset that has allowed the development of businesses which capitalize on the company's core technologies. No doubt, this flexibility has had a major influence on Iconics being ranked 57th on Fortune Magazine's 100th Fastest Growing Small Public Companies in 2005. Iconics is organized for growth in seven key product and service areas, including chromaline screen print emulsions and films, custom inkjet systems, digital texturing, photoresist systems for the decorative sand carving industry, photo machining services for hard, brittle materials such as ceramics, silicon, and glass, advanced material masking services for specialty sandblasting applications, and finally, Iconics International, offering products and services to more than 92 countries around the globe. The focus of this presentation is Iconics Industrial Photo Machining, a new technology for machining ceramics, glass, and other advanced materials. What is photo machining? Simply put, it's the combination of a specially developed photoresist and dry abrasive powder blasting. The imaged photoresist protects the surface and repels the aggressive action of the abrasive. The abrasive imparts the energy needed to selectively remove material from substrates in the unprotected areas. Powder blasting works best on brittle or non-ductile materials. Why photo machining? Because it's a low-cost alternative to producing precision holes, channels, and patterning when compared with other conventional machining, especially when machining hard materials, often not possible with other methods. What makes photo machining unique is Iconic's patented photoresist. Without it, it simply just does not work. With it comes the ability to machine many challenging materials where resolution down to 50 microns is possible. Shown here are some substrates that are no challenge for photo machining. Notice that these are all hard, brittle materials. And while metals and plastics do not respond well to dry abrasive powder blasting, photo machining can selectively remove micron thin metal coatings like copper or gold, etc., from substrate surfaces. Additionally, composite structures respond very well to the process. With a vast number of composites becoming available, it's always best to test them first to ensure photo machining compatibility. The applications are endless, including wafer drilling, MEM sensors, wafer chucks and carriers, channels for photovoltaics, microfluidics, and many others. Another advantage of photo machining is the ability to produce a variety of patterns such as channels, raised pads or maces, and holes all in one operation. Here's an example of an 8-inch silicon wafer where multiple patterns and holes have been produced simultaneously. These are two examples of photo machined silicon wafers. The one on the left, a 200 millimeter diameter wafer, has both 200 micron deep channels and a 50 millimeter diameter center cavity which could be used in a microfluidics application. The one on the right is a 150 millimeter diameter wafer with a 75 millimeter diameter 250 micron deep cavity. This one was designed for use as a wafer carrier or adapter to process a smaller wafer. Typically these are made from much larger silicon wafers up to 12 inches in diameter, having multiple cavities in order to process several smaller wafers simultaneously in plasma etching systems. Photo machining services can produce these wafers easily and with very high precision. No more waiting weeks for special tooling or production time. And when design changes are needed, they can be made rapidly, almost on the fly, with only minor interruption or cost to the overall project. Silicon carbide and boron carbide make up some of the toughest and hardest ceramic materials, known for their ability to withstand extremely harsh processing environments. Machining these materials can be quite challenging. 
Photo machining has the unique ability to selectively remove these materials and at some pretty impressive speeds. Shown here is an 8 inch silicon wafer substrate with raised posts or maces of varying sizes. Mesa sizes range from 300 microns to 250 millimeters in diameter. There are also ribs in the center section to show, once again, how multiple patterns are possible with one operation, even in silicon carbide. This is a 12 inch or 300 millimeter production silicon wafer with several thousand 500 micron diameter, 75 micron high maces. No other machining technique could produce this as quickly and uniformly as photo machining. The machine depth control is within 5 microns across the entire 12 inch surface. Here is a typical single mesa or raised post on a silicon carbide wafer chuck. The top of the mesa was protected during the entire machining process. Note the taper effect associated with the mesa. Photo machining always produces a taper and it will vary depending on the material. In the photo shown, the taper angle is about 35 degrees. The advantage here is that there's a solid anchor generated at the base to help strengthen the mesa during subsequent wafer processing. The smallest diameter possible at the top of the mesa is approximately 200 to 300 microns. Several other examples of silicon carbide substrates made by photo machining are shown here. Channels, squares, odd shapes, and raised features are all easy to do. Essentially, any shape created on a computer can be featured on a substrate. Let's focus now on some other brittle materials. Shown here are several boral float, quartz, and silicon wafers, which are typically used in electronics and MEMS applications. Because photo machining is a photo process, 